summer. I think back and I have times where I reminisce. Reminisce? 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 Where I think back to... I can't say that word. Where I think back to summer. God, they were some fun good times. But uh, obviously, it's been quite a few years now since we've had another one of those summers. I want to tell you a story. A story on a little personal journey of mine. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good. A, li a bird literally just shouted me by the way, like on the way driving here. And I'm on a motorcycle and I thought it was raining and I just looked down to my knee and it's just a pile of shit on my knee. Uh, I don't know why I told you that. I'll get back to the video, sorry for getting sidetracked. Yeah. See, my story is, I went into year seven and uh, I met that one group of friends. It was like four of us. Uh, and it was just because we were in the same class. And then that sort of guy you sit next to suddenly becomes your friend throughout the whole of secondary school and even into college. And that friendship group, I, I still look up to now. But, you know, getting into year 11, year 12, you know, getting into college, we started to split ways. I'm not going to go into details why, because it's a bit of a long story. I can't really be bothered. Uh, um, but to be honest, it, we just kind of all drifted apart, just naturally. So I don't see that friendship group anymore. Uh, I see them sometimes, but not often. Like we'll bump into each other at the gym or something. And to be honest, I used to look back. I'd see them as a group doing things and I wasn't a part of it. And I'd be really pissed off. You know, I'd be really, it made me, it was one of my biggest fears being excluded and it came true and I hated it. And I used to look back at those, those times and just sort of like think like, why, why, how, where did it all go wrong? Yeah, I used to be really quite angry. Um, I was never, I, I was never, I never said anything, but yeah, I just thinking back to it. But now it's been a couple of years and I look back and I, and I, I saw them, I saw a couple of them again. Did a bit of a bit, a bit, few photos for them because uh, they're trying to do something. So I took photos for them, and I kind of just look back to those those days, you know, spending time in the woods, building a den during those summers where we'd go drinking in that den, or those times where we would be playing video games, all of us in the same in, in the same one person's house, all of us together playing Halo Three. Like obviously we weren't doing good habits, but it's not the habits that I look back to. Because I don't like video games now and I don't drink. It's it's the memories that I look back to. And I used to be angry and pissed off about it. But now I look back and I'm quite fond of those memories. Despite knowing that I'm not going to get those back. But you may be wondering, wasn't that quite lonely being excluded? Like, what, what, why are you like so forgiving now? Yeah, it was lonely. It really, really was. <laughs> I wasn't just like alone. I felt lonely. However, it wasn't like that for the whole time. Yeah, it was like that for a couple of years, but then I met new people. And I had been with the same set of friends for like years. So I met new people and these guys I absolutely love. We go skating together. They now go to the gym together with me. We're now gym bros. We're all on self-improvement. Dude, we all have the same goals and it's fucking amazing. And I wouldn't change anything from the past. I wouldn't change anything. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about because it was on my mind recently because uh, someone commented it, I can't remember who, uh, but it was just about trying to find good friends or this person, and then there was this person who had was lucky and he had good friends. Finding a good group of friends is really hard nowadays. And I'm talking from experience because I met a couple people whilst I was, you know, being excluded and I left college and I was quite alone. I met a couple people, you know, when I kind of gave back into the bad habits and I went out drinking, but then those people, all they wanted to do was go out drinking. So I met a couple people, but they weren't good friends. They didn't care for my well-being. You know, the moment they found out that I was on going on to self-improvement, I didn't want to drink anymore. They were like, all right, nah. They didn't give a shit that I was trying to better myself. They just wanted a drinking buddy. They weren't really friends. Um, uh, yeah, but the, so I met a couple people, but not really anyone I could call like a, a good friend, someone who's gonna put my well-being first. Someone like that first group I was friends with before we split apart. I couldn't find that again, but then I did. 
I was alone and then I found these guys and it was just by going out and just focusing on myself, focusing on self-improvement. I met other guys who were also on self-improvement. They just wanted to, they just started getting into gym with me. They always wanted to, but you know, we, me being there actually, you know, I was like, nah, come down with me, join me, join me. And now they're going almost every single day, sometimes twice a day and we skate. We go, he's, one of my friends has just got a motorcycle. We're now going on drives together. We're going to go on a drive later today to, uh, I, I'm assuming a new place of the woods that we've never been to, just somewhere random. We're going to go on a motorcycle ride. It's going to be sick. Yeah, I don't have those summers anymore. Those summers with that, that group of friends that I was friends with for so long. We went out drinking by the river, river jumping. I don't do that anymore. We split apart. However, I met new people just by staying on this path that I'm on right now. And that's what I want to talk about to you. Look, maybe you're going through something like me, or maybe you're lucky and you're with a good group of friends, but maybe you're overthinking. You're a bit worried what you should say to the group. Am I partaking? Am I being, am I valuable to the group? Or are they going to exclude me? Maybe what I went through is your fear. And I just want to let you know that, yeah, it doesn't last forever. However, that means you just should enjoy every moment you have. I used to look back on the past and be pissed off about how things turned out, but now I look back and I'm grateful about the time we spent. And I'm grateful for the new people that I've met. I hope this video has helped you out, and I hope you've been good. I went on a bit of a rant today, so my, my be <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little tangent, my little story time. Another video is going to pop up in the corner, and I would be really appreciative if you've clicked on this. And if you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah. Self-improvement kiss.